Hello everyone, this is Matt with Storm and Rail 96. I wanted to make this video because I haven't found many resources about this on YouTube. I'm not saying that this doesn't exist, but I haven't been able to find it, so this may be a first. Uh, but this is in regards to this guy right here. This is a Bluetooth remote speaker mic specifically for the Motorola Moto Turbo radios that have the Bluetooth option. Uh, real quick, this radio or this RSM is very much a pain in the butt to get to work. I mean, I kind of show you all here how to get, get it to work and some of the other stuff too. It's definitely not near as simple as the RSMs that you'll find for the APX series. Just a quick example here, I have a Motorola APX 8000 and the respected Bluetooth RSM. And it is so simple to connect these things. I'm not gonna actually do it, but literally the two blue dots, once you turn on both the RSM and the radio, you just hold the two together till they connect and then you'd be good to go. And then once you're done, you literally either turn the radio off and or the RSM off. And that's it. It's super simple. Whereas the XPR series is not simple at all. I'm gonna go over that too with y'all right now. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into this here. So as of right now, this RSM is linked to that uh, radio, but we're gonna link it to this radio here. So let's go ahead and put this one off to the side just for now. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this green radio, which is a UHF radio, by the way. This is a UHF, that's a VHF. Not that that matters, but just figured I'd share that here. So, all right, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at our display here. Now, it's very important to note that you have the Bluetooth symbol on on your Motorola radio. If that's not on, what you'll do is you'll go to your menu, scroll down to Bluetooth, and then my status, you wanna make sure that's checked on. If it's set to off, you'll have to obviously go up to on and push okay. So we'll get out of that real quick. All right. Uh, real quick, I'll just go ahead and power on this particular RSM. So here we go. Motorola Solutions, power on. So it's currently connected. It's already connected because I already had these two paired. But uh, something that I found to be a really big headache is how to transfer this RSM to now be paired with this radio and like i said it's not near as simple as the apx series so let me go ahead and show you all real quick how to do that uh, so we're going to go over here to back to our menu we're going to scroll down to bluetooth we're going to go to devices you can see this is currently the device that is paired which is that remote speaker mic what i'm going to do i mean access that and I'm going to disconnect it. Disconnected. As you can hear the RSM said it's disconnected. Now you would think that would be all that you'd have to do and that now it's available to connect with this radio. That's not true. We got to do a lot more steps than that. So let's go ahead and go back into our menu here. Let's go back to Bluetooth. Let's go back to devices. We're going to go back to that and we're going to delete this. I'm sure I want to delete that. All right. So that's it for this uh, green radio for now. I'm going to go ahead and set it off to the side because we don't need that right now. I'm going to turn it off as well. All right. So let me show you here what would happen if I try to connect it to this radio as is. So let me go ahead and turn on this radio. Or the blue light is on. And it's just on standby. So you would think you could connect it. Well, let's go ahead and try real quick. We'll do the same thing here. We're going to go down to Bluetooth. We're going to go down to Devices. We're going to go to Find Devices. So it's powering on Bluetooth, and um, initially that wasn't on, so you can just do that. So you can see here we have different things here at work, but that's not the one we're looking for. I can scroll through. 
different stuff here, but it's not the one we're looking for. And more than likely, if you're in an area where you're not at work and you just have random Bluetooth things, you'll have these random codes right here pop up. Don't select them. That's not the correct thing to do. Like even if I tried to select it, connecting, it's not going to. So spare yourself the trouble and don't even bother with that. So let me get out of here real quick here. I'm going to just go out of that. We do have disconnected. Our, it says disconnected, but it's not fully disconnected. Let me show you how to do that now. Okay, so you take your RSM here. Um, what you do to fully disconnect this RSM from the green radio, because currently it's still trying to connect to the green radio. Uh, so it's not even trying to say that it's available to that radio. So this is how you do that. You turn off the RSM. Power off. All right, now it's off. Then what we're going to do is we're going to power it back on, but as we do that, we're going to hold the push to talk button at the same time. And when we do that, listen to what the speaker says. So let's go ahead and do that. Motorola Solutions, power on, cleared. Searching for host. All right, so now we are able to use this with this. So let's go ahead and go back to our menu. Go down to devices, find devices, give it a moment. There we go. That's what the one we're looking for. We'll push OK and it will connect. Connecting. So it's going to do that music tone for a while. What you do is you push this power button. Connected. And now it's connected to the radio. If you don't push that uh, power button, it's just going to keep doing that stupid song until you do that or shut off the thing. So, all right. And now, as you can see, it is successfully connected to the radio here. And if we wanted to, we could always edit this name to where it's not OCW uh, RSM TPP. We can always edit that name. We'll do that later though. So, all right. So you can see as we so you know yeah full operation now and so yeah it works now so that's how you connect these particular XPR series of RS uh, Bluetooth RSMs to these radios. All right, everyone, that's going to be the video. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Um, if you have any questions, please leave it down in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer. Um, but yeah, this is how you connect these non-blue dot RSMs to Moto Turbo radios. So that's going to be the video. I hope you all enjoyed that. Thanks very much for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Take care.